Medication has a clearance of six liters per hour, and the VD with volume distribution is 60 liters. Uh, what would be the T half B? So, what's your T half? This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my T half, and how long is going to be required f to eliminate more than 90% of the drug from the body? Okay, so first I want to find out what's my T half. I know that T half is the 0.693 divided by the elimination rate constant, right? Now, this value was not given to me in the test, so uh, or the question, so I have to find it, right? But the elimination rate uh, constant, we know that it equals the clearance by the volume of distribution. So 6 divided by 60 equals 0.1. So this is my elimination rate constant. So I'll come here and plug it in that value. So my T half is 6.93 hours. So this is the first part, which is the T half. Then I need to find out the time required to reach more than 90%. So if you guys remember, uh, we said that one T half or one half life takes 50% of the medication. And we said two T halves, 75% of the medication gets eliminated by then and three T halves, 87%, 87.5% gets eliminated. And we said that the four T halves, 93.8% gets eliminated. So to come up with an estimate, I know that by four, T halves, there is going to be 93.8% almost that's eliminated. So 6.93 multiplied by 4% equals 27.72. So you wonder um, why I multiplied it by 4 because technically um there is there is still some time or there's still percentage um unaccounted for right because technically it's almost after 3.9% approximately uh where it's 90% or more so why did you multiply it by 4 the, these numbers, when I say T half is 50, then the second T half, oh, there will be 75 out. Then the third T half is 87.5. We use these as approximates to know in the timeline where we land. Um, so I know that now I have this. I know that after 27.72 hours, 93.8 was eliminated okay so in the options in the test that gave me and I know at the same time that 3 T halves is gonna be only 87.5 okay so here this is going to be approximately at 21 hours almost 
So I know that at 21 hours, there was 87.5 that was eliminated. And at after uh, and after 27.72 hours, there was 93.8 that was eliminated. Okay, so in the options, anything less than 21 hours, I know that uh, there was not a whole lot eliminated of the drug, and I know anything after 27.72 hours is not the correct. Um, so depending on your options, it will it would specifically tells you how much that you're looking uh, or the time that you're looking for but usually we estimate them and in the test all you have to do is you just multiply for example if you're going for anything that over 90 percent you multiply it by four anything more than um, 87 or 85 percent you just multiply it by three and uh, same thing for 50% and the 75%. Now we know 5t halves. This is if you want to add it to your record. Um, usually 96.9% is gets eliminated. And we know that if we're doing continuous infusion after 5t halves we hit the steady state concentration. So keep this to two things that you, that has five T halves. So if we're doing continuous infusion, okay, after five T halves, uh, that's where you get to the steady state. And if you're doing poluses or IV polis or an oral, after five T halves of a, a given dose, Usually it's um 96.9% gets eliminated or uh, gets eliminated or secreted outside the body. Okay, so I added those for you and that way you don't have to write them. Okay, so a patient receives 400 milligrams of a drug and the T half six hour, how much uh, of the drug will remain in the patient after 18 hours. So we know that after three half lives, 87.5% um, will be eliminated, right? So this is what's be eliminated. So the remain reminder of the dose after three T halves is 12.5 how did I get this if all the dose that was given is a hundred percent and after 3 T halves 87.5 percent of it get eliminated so that means 12.5 percent is what stayed so I want to know how much is the 12.5 so if I gave 400 milligrams and I can just multiply them by the 12.5%. That equals 50 milligrams. So 50 milligrams uh, of the 400 milligrams rem stayed in my system after 18 hours of the, um, of the administration.